Hello, I'm dear friends. Um, tonight, I want to take a look with you at the application of 108 Holistic Healing in a practical case. So, um, first of all, we want to know on which level of existence is the root of the given problem. Say, we have a problem with our knee hurting in different situations. So, we will examine through kinesiology or through pendulum or some other uh, mediative technique, which is the kosha or sheath um, around the soul in which the problem is rooted. So, we have five sheaths um, Koshas, and uh, I suggest to study that subject. To make it more clear, some of the sheets can be subdivided. So well, in my system, we come to eight layers. And we found out um, that the cause is in the seventh in the layer, which is denoted with uh, number seven, which is here uh, related to Jupiter or the intellect or buddhi layer, which is um, associated with uh, the plan that we have, the attitude we have, um, how we categorize things, how we analyze, how we are inspired, how far we are ready to let go our ego and take higher inspiration, and uh, our good expectations that we have um, and uh, it's uh, characterized by effectiveness um, as a measurement of truth content. So we found out it's on that layer, on the body layer. So then we look in all the causes on the body layer, which is the next uh, the next uh, specification of the problem. And this is again divided into eight categories according to the eight principles. And there we find it's in the direction of Rahu uh, associated with karma, with desires, uh, with the moment, uh, the time, uh, forgiveness, and uh, interest in the here and now if you look at it from the perspective of Bach flowers. So we found out it's on the eighth. It's a problem with eight. Uh, here it's wrong attitude. Uh, that's my, in my system, uh, wrong attitude. And um, so if it's a problem with the knee, it should be uh, um, something according to the attitude of uh, how to move, how to convert, the rising energies, for especially if it's the left knee, uh, la rising earth energies in the left knee, and flexibility also. So then we look into um, body treatments. Uh, which kind of treatment should be administered? So in this case, we find out it's about the study and meditation on the laws, which is again number seven associated with Jupiter. So um, so we have to examine here the laws uh, connected with movement, transformation, uh, taking up uh, root energies, etc. So we found out here the problem is law number seven again, um, which is again in the same direction. The law of effectiveness, the law of direction, um, of conversion, of plan, of attitude, of inspiration, and um, also good hopes. So we examine uh, the law, laws, or the law which guides this principle, and um, at that point we have so specifically um, delineated 
um, the problem that now we have enough background to to meditate on the subject, to not be so vague anymore uh, as to have no idea of what it comes from. And with this background knowledge, uh, we can start to focus uh, on the on the area. So, um, as we ha heard, it's uh, associated with the Buddhi sheath, uh, but in the in the earth chakra area, which is the knee is belonging to the earth chakra, to the root chakra, and um, but because the, it's every, uh, especially the lower chakras, they have all the finer layers in in them, so. We're uh, meditating here on the on the buddhi aspect of the root chakra in the knee, and for this, I suggest to uh, to focus concentration on the knee, where's the problem, and be open for anything that may arise, pictures, emotions, etc. Neutrally observing them, breathing into. Stay with there with the uh, attention. Breathe in into that organ, into that space, into the knee, and while breathing out, also breathing out into the same space. So, as all connection, uh, all healing is about connection, uh, information flow, and awareness. Um, we are not independent, we are connected, etc. So it is always helpful to connect with the all, with the Supreme Consciousness. Um, for me, the most simple way uh, and clear way is to just think of Om. That's what I think of when breathing in. And because the problem here is associated with the Buddhi Shis, I take the, the Bij Mantra, which is uh, related to to the respective uh, incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vishnu, which is presiding over this Buddhi sheath, and that is Vamanadev. So Vamanadev has, uh, uh, its speech mantra is Vam, uh, V-A-M. So when I breathe in, I'm thinking Om, connecting with the Supreme, and when I breathe out, still with my attention on the knee, I am thinking Vam all the time uh, with affectionate attention on the problematic area and open for any pictures, emotions, etc. And if anything arises, to observe it in a neutral way and if necessary uh, to make any adjustments which in the first stage is not so necessary. We can discuss this at another point. First of all, awareness is the most important thing and the connection to the supreme uh, powers of the supreme personality uh, through the mantra Om and Vam. So that was just a rough outline of how to meditate on some specific problem in the 108 holistic system. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm waiting for your questions and comments. Aloham, Om Danvantaraye Namaha, all glories to the original healer, and love and light flow.